Hello, welcome back in our composition. In this short lesson, I want to touch on properties. What are properties and why are they so important? Properties, once I hit the triangle, as we've explained before, all the different options and possibilities you can find inside of a layer are called properties. The anchor point, the position, the scale, all those options are separate properties. Now different kinds of layers have different properties. But to speak in general, properties are very similar and a property by definition is always the same. It's one separate option inside of a layer. Now let me show you a few examples around here. We have the red wall JPEG, it's an image and a image has a few separate options of its own. Here we have the material options. These are specific options to an image, but overall each layer, but in general, Layers by basic have their transform options. Those transform options are related to the anchor point, the position, the scale. We also have the opacity and rotation and it all depends what do we attach to a certain layer. Let me make quickly a new composition. I have a new composition and I will show you something very interesting. I make one rectangle, let me maybe fill it with any color. It can be gray, it's okay. And now by having this first shape layer selected, I place another rectangle here. Now watch what happens. My shape layer, shape layers are specific types of layers, has now two rectangles. They are placed inside of the contents of the shape layer. Contents is something like a container, a group for this. We have global transform options, which will apply to both of those rectangles as we move the position both rectangles move, as we change the scale, both of those rectangles will be bigger because both of those rectangles are on the same layers. But if I open rectangle one and rectangle two, you can notice they have their own properties. And this is what might look complicated, but this is actually the beauty of the program. You have so many properties to work with and you can edit so much things that it gives you complete freedom of what you are doing. For example, we have our rectangle two here. I have the fill option and inside of the fill option, I have my gray color. And if I would like only to work here inside of the properties, I would not always have to find the fill option, the stroke option. I can change the color right here. I will change it to a red color. A few lessons before we were talking about terminology, things like rendering, composition and so on. and Property is just an important word like those words before. Please remember that properties are those options here inside of After Effects. Each layer has its own properties and those properties can be adjusted, they can be changed. It all depends which layer you are editing. I also wanted to show you that if I add any effect here, let me even 3D channel, it doesn't really matter. As I added a new effect into this shape layer, the effect is also appearing as property. So everything, really everything you are doing to a layer, if you change the color, the size, all those changes you are making are reflected inside of properties. If I change the black point here, I can always go to this effect inside of the properties and I have the same options here. This is only a graphical interpretation and the same things are shown in another panel but the properties hold everything, every information about the layer together and put it in one place for you. Thanks for listening. This is all I wanted to explain when it comes to the properties. And please keep this in the back of your head and you'll start using the proper terminology while working in this software.